Okay, next we're going to talk about the tendon reflex. The tendon reflex is kind of the opposite of the stretch reflex in the effect that instead of responding to an excessive stretching of the muscle, this reflex responds to excessive contraction of the muscle. And instead of resulting in a contraction, it results in a relaxation. So this is, this is an inhibitory reflex. The example that I have here for you is the quadricep muscle again. And this time, the main part of the reflex is the dotted line because it's an inhibitory reflex. So this dotted line is the motor neuron of the tendon reflex. This reflex is polysynaptic and it is also ipsilateral, much like the, um, much like the stretch reflex, which is also ipsilateral because it's affecting the same muscle that was stimulated. So let's start with the sensory. The blue neuron here is the sensory neuron. And we can see that in the musculotendinous junction of the quadricep muscle, we have all of these sensory receptors. In the tendon reflex, the sensory receptor is called a tendon organ. And it is stimulated by excessive, quick contraction of a muscle. When the muscle contracts, quickly and excessively, it'll stimulate these sensory receptors which will generate a graded potential and then ultimately an action potential along the sensory neuron. It's going to follow a typical reflex arc. There'll be a sensory receptor, a sensory neuron, an integrating center, a motor neuron, and an effector. All of the typical five components of a reflex arc. <clears throat> so we followed the sensory impulse back to the mixed spinal nerve, in through the dorsal root ganglion, because all sensory impulses travel through the dorsal root of the spinal nerve, in the dorsal root, into the dorsal horn of gray matter, and then the main reflex arc will come on this branch here and synapse with an interneuron. Now because it has to synapse with an interneuron, it is polysynaptic because it's going to require more than one synapse to complete the reflex arc. So here is the first synapse. This is a synapse between the sensory neuron and an inhibitory interneuron. This interneuron will have an impulse generated that comes to a synapse with the motor neuron for the same muscle. This synapse results in an IPSP, an inhibitory postsynaptic potential, on the motor neuron. What that means is that it has resulted in a hyperpolarization of the motor neuron's membrane potential. That brings the motor neuron further from threshold, meaning it's further from an action potential, making it much more difficult to stimulate an action potential or a nerve impulse in the motor neuron. That ultimately results in a relaxation of the quadricep muscles. There is no nerve impulse generated on the motor neuron in this reflex. You do not use nerve impulses to tell a muscle to not contract. Nerve impulses will only stimulate a muscle to contract. Therefore, the only way to get this muscle to relax, which is the ultimate goal of the reflex arc, is to inhibit a nerve impulse. And we do that by releasing inhibitory neurotransmitters at this synapse right here that creates an inhibitory postsynaptic potential in the motor neuron. Ultimately their goal is a relaxation of the quadricep muscle which is the opposite of the original stimulus, which was an excessive contraction of the quadricep muscle, which can be damaging, which is why this reflex is necessary. Now, while this is going on, there is, of course, reciprocal innervation. So a branch also comes out of the sensory neuron that stimulates an interneuron that will then synapse with the motor neuron for the antagonist muscle. Now in the tendon reflex, we had said that if the muscle contracts, the antagonistic, an antagonistic muscle should relax to make it easier to achieve that goal. Well, the opposite is true again.
the reciprocal innervation causes the antagonist muscle in this case, which is the hamstring muscles here, it causes a contraction of those by stimulating a nerve impulse along the motor neuron that goes to the antagonist muscle, which is the hamstring muscles here. So one way to help to relax or stretch the quadricep muscle is to contract the opposite muscle, which is the hamstrings. That is the tendon reflex in an ipsilateral polysynaptic reflex arc.